Hello Renahat. My name is Nahuel Berich. I'm speaking from Argentina. In this video tip, we're going to see how to get rid of the fireflies. We're going to see two different methods. One is uh, from the native cycle render engine that allowed us to crop or limit the fireflies. And the other one is uh, a way using the compositor, the node editor. And during the next 10, uh, actually 20 minutes, because these are two videos, we're going to see these both methods and also we're going to explain what these firefly are because it is necessary to know what they are in order to get rid of them. Okay. Now, what are these firefly? Okay. As you can see, if I can select the right, there you go. We can see here uh, a bright, a white bright pixel. Why this appear? I really don't know why this way the bright pixels appear, but um, these bright pixels are not more than an overexposed pixel. So let's begin. This is the scene that I prepared and you can see a bit of it. This is simple. I have two spheres, a box and playing with a lot of reflection. And this gives us uh, the render that we saw before. <coughs> yeah, before or after the event. Okay. To continue, what are these fireflies? Uh, if we if we um, wrap one single point, I'm not sure if you can read below the image viewer. You can see that the pixels, the red pixels, are uh, into a value of zero to one. This is because the value, the values are normalized and not and are not being read from zero to 255, like a uh, <coughs> color for web. Sorry. But uh, in this case, uh, Blender uses a float normalized value that goes from zero to one. If you check the color in the red box, you can see that the red RGB is going from, uh, I don't know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.02. But if we check the values on this firefly, we can see that the RGB values go above um, 37,000. 58,000, 45,000, 5,000, and okay, that is over overexposed, almost exploited. So, for our benefit, this difference of value will make them easier to mask. So, Sagas, so what allows us to do is to crop these values. We can see under sampling tab. That we have a clamp option that in this case is one, but the render that you can see on the left it's uh, it was rendered with zero clampings. That's why because that's why because you can see those fireflies. But if you set clamp to one, this render should be at least um, not over bright. You will have a, a crop value. For example, the render that you are seeing now, sorry for that, is a render that was clamped to one. I'm not sure I'm not really sure what one that what that value is, but a value of one it generally gives a nice result. But this brings a problem. The clamp is uh, <coughs> The clamp value is a value that crops white level. So if you have, and this is not the case because you can see the lighting is too simple, but if you have several objects and you have very, very high highlights, very white highlights, clamping from this sampling option will lead you to, uh, as, what, how can I say this? I better show you. 
I'm going to generate a sphere with animation material. Tac, tac, tac. Diffuse, animation, and we can see that it's fully white. This is right. But if I start to clamp, the, clamp it, we can see that the white color is going to be uh, reduced or cropped. This is the problem of clamping directly from the sampling or the render engine. We are chopping a lot of information and it could be not very useful in some situations. On the most, of it, on the most situations this is good, it's, it works great, but in some cases the clamp doesn't work well. And this is where the second option is coming. We have... <coughs> we have... Sorry for I'm a bit nervous. Um, the second option is using is removing or masking the fireflies using a no setup. Let's go into see the example. Okay, note editor. <coughs> the what 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 do we have here? We have set up our render, the, our main render with the fireflies this render goes to a reroute node and this reroute goes to four different options to mask the fireflies the green frame it of course the best way and the red frame has problems to has some uh, ways to mask them but has some problems Okay, first, in order to clean the white pixels, we have to mask them. In order to mask them, it's going to be easy because we have a difference of more than 10,000 between the value of the normal pixels and the gray pixels. The option A is going through the first color ramp, and this color ramp is going to crop the values, so this is going to leave us only the higher values as we see tweaking the ramp. The second option is using a not add a, a math a might math node converter math as you can see here and there you can select you can select a greater than option if you set the value to one the only pixels that is going to give us back is the pixels that, are, that have a value above of one. You can use uh, values above of 1 if you have a HDR image. Um, I know that my picture, the brightest pixel is going to be white, it's going to be 1, so I use 1 to crop all below it. Why is this two nodes uh, in, in this red frame? We can use these both options to mask also. Uh, map value and RGB curve that were offset be one side of the cost. But using these both nodes has a similar problem. So if we offset into negative values, the, the value of the pixels is going to become darker. So the only pixels will, that will remain black, white, are going to be the fireflies because it has an offset value way way too higher than we can reach. Other option is to use RGB curves. If we take the curve out of range we can see that we can get a similar mask. But the problem with this is that these both nodes return us floating values. So the dark areas are going to be darker and the bright areas are going to be brighter than white. How is this? We have values from 0 to 1 and if we go to the image view editor we can check this and if we check our black we can see that we have a black value of minus 36 and if we check the bright value we have a hundred thirty two thousand a way way too high number and we will see how affect this our this our composition in next video